Hi everyone, so how did you get on with challenge number one? Did you earn all six points? I've given myself five points because there's still a couple of habits that I'm working on. So hopefully that will rack up to six points in time. I just want to say well done to Catherine from Litchfield for sorting through their light bulbs and well done to Charles as well who has committed to going on to a green tariff when his runs out so excellent, excellent job guys, well done. If you missed the first challenge you can check it out by clicking the link right here but today let's get on with challenge number two which is gone. So the first task of this challenge isn't quite gardening, it starts with shopping. So the first task is find a local organic veg provider. Um, so they're doing lots of veggie boxes at the moment, there's quite a few in Derbyshire around where I live. Just a few off the top of my head, there's Abel and Cole or Riverdale, we've just joined Sound Bites. So just as a starting point to compare and have a look at, I would advise getting an organic veggie box delivered. Why, you say? Well, there's a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, it's not covered in plastic. Secondly, it's organic, so it's not covered in pesticides. Thirdly, it'll be grown locally as well, so you're supporting a local business and you're more connected to where the food has come from. You're going to get seasonal food, so it's not being refrigerated all year round, which also causes a massive energy footprint. So there's a, a number of good reasons why you should look into getting a veg box. So that's task number one. You can get three points for that because that's quite a big deal. It's Friday, so that means only one thing for our house. The veggie box has arrived. Let's have a look. You can see the, there's two pieces of plastic here that contain the, the kale and the rainbow chard. Companies like this are really good because they will take back the box and the bag so that they can reuse them. So there's no waste, you know, at all in this. If this is something that you're interested in and you haven't got a green grocer open near you or um, the veggie markets are shut at the minute because of Covid you can check out Riverford, they're a, a big company I've provided an affiliate link below if you want to check that out but it might cost a bit of extra money but you're getting quality products so the second task is invest in a compost bin I'll take you out and I'll show you mine and why? because the peelings that you will get from your local veggie box can go straight into your compost bin and if it's organic fruit and veg that you're buying you're going to get organic soil. I love composting, I just find it like magical. So we're at the back of the garden and you can see this is our compost bin. We chose the wooden mesh approach um, but you can get all sorts of compost bins and you can see here we've got two and at the minute the, the bin on the right hand side is where we're putting in all of our peelings at the minute and the bin on the left hand side is where everything's still working around breaking down and is breaking up into soil so if I turn it over you can see that it's starting to resemble soil and there's a lot of worms coming through and this all just looked the same as the bin on the right so why is it important to compost? Well, when we throw our food away in the bin and it goes in the general waste and it goes to landfill, that food is getting stuff thrown on top of it and what the food needs is actually oxygen to break it down. If it's under the ground and it's got a load of stuff piled on top of it, it can't get the oxygen, which means it then causes methane. And this is obviously not what we want, this contributes to global warming. So it needs to be on the surface where the oxygen can get to it, where flies can get to it and break it down and then generally just turn it back into soil. So this is really important and I would advise you at this point to watch a film on Netflix called Kiss the Ground and I'd like to say thank you to David for recommending that. It's an excellent documentary. Task number three. You might be thinking by now, like, well, this is great. I've got my organic veg. Fine. I've got a compost bin. Fine. What am I actually going to do with all of this soil? This is a very good question. 
you can um, create a veg patch and then you are growing organic veg with your organic soil and then that helps you become a bit more sustainable as well if, if that's what you want. You, you might think, well, I'm not, I'm not too fussed about growing vegetables, I haven't got the time um, or the space or anything like that. Then you can do this instead. So one thing you can do with the compost soil is plant trees and here I've got a conker. So I'm just going to use the soil from my compost bin to plant trees. And if this is something that you think that you might want to do with your soil, you can check out the link below in the description to uh, see my blog article to optimise your success rate on conker growing. There you have it. Or if you think I haven't really got the space to grow a couple of trees, then you can just regrow vegetables that are in your scraps. Here is a little lettuce that we got in our last veggie box. Um, we chopped it up, used it, and then we put the, the bit that you would normally throw away or in your compost bin. We actually put it in a bowl of water and it started to regrow. So I'm going to replant this and then we're recycling the lettuce. So, how does all of that sound? Do you want to know your thoughts? Please comment below on what you think of this episode. If you missed the first episode, you can find it by clicking right here uh, or you can watch the whole playlist by clicking the box right here. So best of luck with those challenges and I look forward to seeing how you did in the next video.